Okay guys, what is up everyone? Welcome back to this video once again. In this video, we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin and Solana. Solana keeps crashing, keeps keeps coming down um, 25% in the last seven days, as you guys can see. So let's have a look and dive into the charts real quick. This is something, some drawings I did earlier on Bitcoin. So let's start off with Bitcoin real quick and see what we can do over here. Um, I'm going to take that away real quick. Um, I'm going to remove the drawing. The first thing I want to start off, guys, is the daily, the weekly time frame. Okay, so let's have a look at the EMA ribbon on the weekly time frame. We are still getting uh, supported right here. As you guys can see, I've been talking about these EMA ribbon for quite some time, and we know how important these ribbons are. We got two nice little rejections right here. We came all the way back down to the 20 exponential moving average and bounced back up. On the daily time frame, we are still getting supported, as you guys can see right here if I zoom in. Um, we are still not below it. So, yes, we did have uh, two peaks uh First of all, we had a breakout right here and we did have a, um, a rejection right here and one almost approximately right there, depending if we're going to come back to the, you know, to the 47,322 uh, region and to retest that level. Will we do it? Possibly, possibly not. Let's have a look at the four hour time frame real quick on the four hour time frame. If I take away the exponential moving average, we are in a flag right here. Um, bull pen and bull flag, whatever you guys want to call it. We've been consolidating. Um, we have the breakout right here. As you guys can see, this was a W shape pattern that we had. Of course, this was right here, the resistance. And as you guys know, when we break out of a resistance or a support, uh, whether it's a triangle or W pattern, we usually come back and retest the level. So uh, this is exactly what happened. We came back, retested the level, and now we're just consolidating. Now, what's going to happen next is very, very interesting. Either we're going to either break out of this, um, this pennant and go to 49,500, or we're possibly going to come back down and... and um, essentially correct from there so things are going to be very very interesting of course and um yeah that's a quick bitcoin update let's have a look at solana solana keeps crashing keeps falling down if you guys saw my last video i did mention a support right here we had a support right here at 136 our previous support was approximately right here as you guys can see we had a few touches right here a few spikes and we held it pretty nicely we we're bouncing around that area and boom we broke it uh now we're currently at the support right here at 137 uh, my next support would approximately be this one right here at 125 and the next one after that would be 109 110 dollars so things are going to get very very interesting right now in the next couple of days maybe weeks of course depending on bitcoin if bitcoin crashes everything else will crash and we could see solana possibly bottom out as low as 114 or 108 so uh, things are going to be very very interesting um on the daily time frame right here if we have a look at the ema ribbon on solana uh we are coming down below the exponential moving average so things are getting very very um i, I don't want to say bearish yet but something that i really want to have a look at is the rsi guys every time we peaked above uh 90 or eight you know 85 first of all anything that's above 70 which is approximately right here oh which is approximately uh right here uh let me take that away Anything that's above 70, it's usually overbought. So when things are overbought, guys, you usually, I'm not saying all the time, but usually you want to look for places to essentially sell. And um, and it, this is exactly what happened. We were way, 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 way overbought. We were at 90 right here, and we just came back crashing down. Of course, this is a good news. This is a good sign. Corrections are good. You don't want to see, uh, you know, charts just explode and go parabolic because then you have a lot of people you know buying at 400 500 and then boom it comes back crashes everyone panics it starts with a beer market people hate it they say solana's a scam no you guys have to see all the opportunities all the scenarios that you guys have if we have a look at the four hour time frame right now as you guys can see right here we are of course at uh we are below 30 so now this is the opposite anything that's below 30 is oversold okay so we got overbought right here and oversold okay so you want to look for buying area maybe perhaps this is a good time to start dollar costing average into your position no uh, perhaps that's a good idea so if you guys know that we break you know below here we're most likely going to come back to 124 and perhaps this is a good time to start buying uh solana and dollar cost average your position because we know right now we we it, it seems like we bottomed out and as you guys can see right here if we go back to history every time we bottomed out we saw spikes we saw spikes uh so we saw one right here we saw a little one right here we saw another one right here we saw another one right here so as you guys can see we always saw these nice little moves um on solana every time uh of course that's not the best way to trade but it gives you a, an idea an overview of the market Anyways, guys, that's my quick update on Solana and Bitcoin. If you guys like this video, of course, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next